In this video, we are going to see an example. First, let's look at the example. DLC example 14. In this example, for a cutting operation on a rubber, the coolant flow on the part should be on for an interval before cutting process starts. When the process is turned on, the coolant motor, CM for short, is turned on. 8 seconds later, cutter starts. Now let's head over to the open PLC editor. We need to create a new folder for the new project. I'll click on the new folder. Then I need to name the new folder and I will name the folder as example 14. Then I will select the folder and change the language as letter diagram and press OK. I'll drag this down and add two power rails one on the left side and one on the right side need to keep them aligned Then I would like to add the variables here. For my first variable, I will address it as input and change the type as boolean. Then I will change the address to cm. And for last, I will use the cutter. Now I will add the contact here which is our normally open contact for the input. I will change the size or adjust the size. Then I would like to add the standard function block, the pulse timer. Keep them aligned and join the pins then I would add the coil which is our cutter sorry not cutter but the coolant motor I will adjust the size here join the pins Add a variable for the preset time and we need to keep the coolant on for 8 seconds before the cutter starts. For our second rung, first of all, I will add the input. And in series, I would add another contact, our CM, and it would be normally closed contact. And for lost, I would add a coil which is going to be our cutter. Then I will join the pins here. The simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. Then I will drag this up.
as you can see the cm and the cutter both of them is false and when i force through to the input the cm which is coolant motor is on for like the preset time which is eight seconds and after that the cutter is true Okay, I will stop the simulation and start the simulation again. To show you the simulation for the second time, the simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses and drag this up. Then again, I will force through the input and up to the preset time, the coolant motor will be on and then the coolant motor will go off or false and the cutter will be true. I'll stop the simulation. If you want to increase the preset time in order to increase the time for the coolant motor to be on you just need to increase the preset time for that and if you want to keep in the whole function in loop you just need to create a memory bit and latch it here the cutter and then the pulse timer for some seconds and this will go in a loop like this in order to keep this whole diagram in the loop you just have to let the normally closed memory bit here and use the tion function when the cutter will go on and after 10 seconds m0 will go through and with this the tp function will be reset and this whole function will be in a loop thank you for watching the video